Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. We're gonna start this new day right now. We had just enough money to spend on what we needed to spend. We have events ready for us. We have quests looking to wait for us as well. Did we get our we get we did we get our ale? I don't know if we got our ale yet. Finish any research. So the things we're looking at here is three hundred dollars or three hundred uh, gold, whatever you want to call it. A new recipe. It looks like like a chicken stew or something. What else do we have? Like the Eiffel, oh, I thought that said Eiffel Tower. The Elite Waitress, which I'm very excited for. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of things that are going to be going on today. We should be getting our adventurer's uh, resources as well, like our trees and our, and our strawberries as well. Let's see, did we get that? How would one tell? Oh yeah, one would tell by clicking on this. Did we get it in? Not yet. Maybe, they, maybe they're bringing it in later today. Okay, all right. Well, anyways, let's just go ahead and hit play. Let's continue. Get all of these people in. 192 guests. For sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure. How's our drinks? Drinks are good. Food is good. Food is relatively good. We will be selling. So now that we have a few more uh, menus or menu items, items on the menu, uh, we should be thinking about maybe bringing in another chef, hiring another chef after all. Now that our tables are expanding over so, oh, so slightly, maybe that's what we do. Let's go ahead and hire a new chef. So hiring a chef, let's see here. We got received bonuses for every soup served. We, not really. Uh, like I'm not really uh, worried about that walking speed doesn't decrease when carrying something interesting receives a two dollars for main courses served this is kind of interesting main courses served he has a high skill for uh, desserts and he has a high skill for courses his speed's a little slow but he does have very very high cooking skills so I'm gonna go ahead and actually get him what's his name Leopold Leopold bring him in into the squad and give uh, mr. freaking Bert a new a new raise, $263 is how much we're paying a day for these people. So that's good to see. Now we should be able to get our drink prices today. Very, very quickly, very quickly indeed. I would like to plan my event for the cheeses tomorrow, but um, I don't know. Are, oh, there, there we go. I think they're back. Yeah, completed. Okay, great. The adventure has brought you successfully 11 cheeses, 13. 13 uh, strawberries. Very, very good. Okay, so let's kind of future-proof ourselves here. Let's go. Uh, what is in the future that we need? Well, we need a lot more strawberries, and we're going to eventually need mushrooms. So strawberries and mushrooms. So let's, let's invest into that. Let's go here. Let's go uh, 60, 60, 20. We're going to need more strawberries. So let's go more strawberries. We'll go 20. 20. There we go. Send you off. And that's the only thing that we'll get going on right now. Very good. You guys are off. Go give me, go give me the resources that I need for this tavern. So cool. I, I dig that. I really do dig that. Now, can you actually put in multiple adventure tables? Just one. Just one adventure table. Okay. Maybe you can bring in another one later down the roll, roll, roll road in the research table. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Still kind of cool though. Still really cool. Okay, I'm keeping my eye on the research here. Once this is done, there it is, it's done. We'll swap over to the guest per day real quick. And then once that's done, we will then finish any research. Once that's done, uh, we will uh, start focusing in on our unlimited waitresses. Yeah, I think getting more waitresses is probably the biggest key thing to do right now. Biggest thing to do overall. Pretty excited about it. I am. I love having all these little waitresses going through and picking up drinks and dropping them off and just that that money pop-up sign there's boom 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 money 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 it's pretty good it's pretty good stimulates man it stimulates the brain <laughs> so right now what we're researching is all we need is 100 people i think it was 100 people to get 14 guests per day uh which is coming very very soon once we get done with that we'll be looking into milk cider and mead yeah milk cider and mead um not a big fan of milk myself not a big fan of cider myself and i'll be honest with you not a big fan of mead myself either so this is like the like, I, I don't drink milk by itself. The only time I have milk is, like, if I have cereal. I mean, chocolate milk I can do, but regular milk, like, I don't know. Never grew up on drinking milk. I just... Maybe that's why I'm five foot seven. Um, probably not. Maybe that's a genetic thing. Anyways. All right. Before I... Let's stop talking. <laughs> Brenna, let's go ahead and upgrade her. There we go. And we will give her the speed carrying as well. We'll, we'll get that going on because, like I said, I think the speed carrying is, is very important. Now for the next day. We can do our event. We're going to be doing our event. We're going to be doing uh, the wine tasting event. So we'll go wine tasting event. We'll get that started. And then for tomorrow, we'll put a stop on these guests and we'll do unlimited waitresses. And that will complete that. And we will have unlimited waitresses before you even know it. Let's send it off to the next day. 
I'm not gonna buy anything because, uh, you know, money. But we should get a pretty handsome reward here, uh, or bonus, once we complete all 30 of these, uh, these butts and seats. So, just so you know, there's 300 by the way. Just so you know, this right here is 30 people served. So 30 people here, you can see like maybe double, we're like at 60, 70, 80 possibly. Well, maybe not 80, but maybe like 60 or 70 people we serve on a, on a regular in our uh, during regular hours. Bartender Bert has an upgrade. Let's give him an upgrade and give him drink pouring speed. Yes, we want him to speed up his drink pouring skills. Now, we only have one bartender, which is very interesting. We have two chefs, but we have one bartender. I think the bartender is one of the people that are like getting slammed here, but this is a wine only uh, event, so our wine's going to be getting drained here heavily. We're going to spend the money to reinvest in our in our wine here. Yeah, so this is wine only. Are you a wine fan? Do you drink white wine? Red wine? I was craving red wine last night. I was. I was craving a little bit of red wine. I think it was because I was eating cheese, having some sausages, some crackers. And I was like, you know what? A nice glass of red wine would, would be, would kind of hit the spot. You get multiple white wines, you know, cook it up with some like, uh, you know, pasta, you know, sometimes. Mix it in with some meats, the white wine, then have a glass. But never really, never really get a lot of red wine in my time. And I should probably get more red wine. There's probably a lot of good red wines out there. I just always have been a default white wine type of, type of person. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, refill the drinks here. There we go. Get that three hundo. Prepared cheese 16 times. Serve 50 people, rare customers, by organizing events. Okay, that's that, that, that that's fine. All right, fine enough. Wait, did we get our ale? Do, I can't remember. Did we get our ale? Yeah, we did get our ale. Let's buy the ale. <laughs> I, I totally like disregarded the fact that we got the ale. There we go. We have our ale. Let's go ahead and turn that in. Thank you so much. We are like six away from our new recipe. There we go. Kind of keeping an eye on our on our men over here. Now, how does the cheese work? Is it only means that we can only serve 10 or 11 cheese? I think that's what it was. So we're going to need to get more cheese in. So, hey guys, over here, would you guys be willing to do some of this for me? Um, I would like you guys to go get more cheese. It's going to be 40 difficulty, so I need uh, maybe 18, 16, 85% go send off. And then eventually I'm going to need mushrooms, guys. Uh, maybe another strawberry as well. Strawberry 50, 15, 30, 45. I'm go send you off. There we go. Very good. Now, there is like a thing here. I don't know what this is. Adventure level is calculated based on prestige and it affects adventure power. Wow. Okay, so the prestige of the restaurant actually affects the uh, adventurer's powers. Wow. That's very interesting. I did not know that. Cool. That's really cool. I dig that. I dig that a lot, actually. So the prestige not only is for the customers, but also can affect our, our uh, adventures overall. Very, very cool. I dig that. Now, I do want to add more tables over here. I think I can sneak in a couple of more of, um, excuse me, two-seaters. Let's see here. Research is done. So now we can do unlimited waitresses. We're going to go straight to uh, this, and then we'll slop over to maybe, like, chopping table. And then maybe the milk and cider, and then eventually the unlimited chefs. So let's see here. Do we have a level up on our menus? Let's see. Yeah, level up on cheese. Awesome. There we go. Cheese is now a level up. Very, very good. And then uh, what about our people here? Ah, yes, we can add another waitress, which we're going to add. We're going to add another waitress, believe it or not. Can carry eight drinks at the same time. Not bad. Really, not bad. Gains XP two times faster. Also not bad, but can't carry up to eight drinks. Her speed carrying is already high, and her drinks are at five. Where are you at? Tips two. Speed carrying is eh. I like, I like the eight drinks thing. We don't have someone that can carry eight drinks. Maybe that will really help us. Now, who's faster between the two? Speed carrying 2.5. It is, it is Shay. Wait, we already have a Shay. We don't want another Shay. I'll get confused. And I think Moroni is actually an elite server that we'll get eventually too. So I'm going to go ahead and hire Lana just because out of her name. I'm not going to have another Shay. We're going to hire Lana just because of her name, not because of her ability. And that will be that. So there we go. We're going to have an extra person, which now means how much do we spend in, uh, in, in people? Well, we're going to find that out here soon. There we go. Prepare cheese 16 times. Oh, 16 times, not uh, 10 times. Very good. 
Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So where are we at? Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Uh, people, 317 so $317. So we have a lot of money to spend on decorations and prestige. So we're going to do that. We're going to go, we're going to go decorations first. Once I get done with decorations, I will then uh, start focusing more on, um, like things of adding, like, uh, like replacing the tables and things like that. I'll do that kind of last, but right now I'm kind of just going through specials. No carpets. We don't have any carpets. I would like to maybe get in some carpets. Actually, I don't know. Carpets not good for the dining hall. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not good. Hmm. Okay. Stick with the decorations. Let's do. Yeah, let's do like a shield. Let's put like another shield over here. Like a family crest shield. A book is not bad. <laughs> An armor stand's not bad either. Now, armor 4.9. I don't know what that is. Can we put that like right there? Awesome. Prestige goes up. We have that next to them now. And then let's like put like a barrel of scrolls. Not next to the fire. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe next to the fire. Like right there. Maybe not. <laughs> um... Like a nice shield. Let's just do another crest. Now let's do one that I liked. I think this is the one I used last time. Maybe I switch it up. I wish you could change the color of the shields, but you can't. I do like the different colors here. Like the red, silver, and blue. Not just the blue and gold. But the blue and gold kind of goes with our banner being blue and gold. So we're going to go there. Coat rack? Well, not for these guys. Coat rack can come on over here, maybe. Like right there. Yeah, no. Coat, oh, this one. Sorry, this one. This coat rack. I put like a coat rack right here. So when you come in, drop your weapons off and then drop your uh, your coat rack as well, my man. Everything else I think is pretty much good. Kitchen, good. I mean, we could put paintings down and we will. We'll put paintings down uh, throughout. An extra chest. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if it's like needed for us to have an extra chest, really. Other than it would have us not have to buy inventory all the time we do that you think okay we go like this now that doesn't block them from coming in i don't think right hopefully it doesn't yeah so this just makes sure that we don't run out of stuff more frequently let's not spend too much money here though 461 i think that's enough right is that enough for our uh people 317 yeah okay that's enough okay great okay cool how are we doing prestige wise uh, 2850, 2850, indeed, 2850, indeed. 3500 is what we need for the next level up. Okay, I understand. All right, let's go to the next day. Get some quests done. Uh, prepare to cheese 16 times. We don't have that. Serve only. Wait, wait, wait. Serve only desserts for the whole day. Fi uh, finish any research. So we're, we're gonna switch over to only um, desserts for today. So any uh, main courses. Sorry. Get out of here. Oh, I just realized that I wasn't even putting the roasted fish or the bowl of chicken on the menu. Yikes. You guys might have been telling me that for a while. <laughs> or thinking that for a while. Don't worry, I figured it out. Okay. Very good. $84 is all we had left going into this day because we paid the band as well, 100 So, very good. Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm like thinking big money here. I'm thinking big money. Now, does anything change here as far as um, percentage-wise? No, we still get 1% on each. Do we have any completed? Yeah, we have... Strawberries completed. Very good to see. We can send them off again for more strawberries. And that's maybe what I'll do. I'll do another run of strawberries. So we'll go uh, 19 and 20 and 15. And send them off. And then maybe 60. No, we don't have enough for 60. Yeah, we don't have enough for that. How are we doing here? Chef has an upgrade. Fantastic, Chef. And we'll get your skills up in desserts get your skills up in desserts now do our waitresses keep up to date here will our waitress oh my lord everything's happening so fast right now uh shay has a level up let's give shay that level up and then she will be getting speed carrying also speed carrying very good thank you shay and then we our research has done or is done so we got the 14 guests per day now we can start looking into doing something else chopping table i think is very simple very easy that we can get in once we get that we can unlock more different menu items i believe uh, let's get that finished any research. We have now got this new recipe, which is what is that? Oh, it's not here. Is that a steak platter? 
Definitely wasn't this. It wasn't this. So it must have been a steak platter. Okay, that's very cool. We're at full capacity. 224 uh, guests per day that we're expecting. Need more tables. Flat out, just need more tables. It is what it is, right? This wall will probably end up going very, very soon here. We'll make we'll make room. We'll get this wall out of here, that little piece. I, I do want to add like two seaters up along here as well. You know what? I'll probably do that now. Let's see. I mean, I guess I could add a four seater too. I think it went like that. And then maybe um, one thing that we don't have is like a VIP chair. Is there VIP chairs? Wooden chair, comfy chair, VIP chair. Yeah, we don't have a VIP chair. Now, it's probably not worth it right now, but I, I don't know. I kind of want to like just secretly invest into a luxury VIP chair over here, like off into the corner by the fireplace. Maybe I'll do that down the road, but that, that that's something I'm going to keep my eye on. So we go boom and boom. Big table there. Very good. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it right next to the fireplace, next to the kind of the adventurers too. More people have been served. Very good. How's our drinks and how is it holding up? Doing just fine over there. How's our food? 30, 40, 50, 50, 50, 30, 40, 30, 40, 50. Okay, good. We're still good. How fast are these drinks getting out, though? That's the question. So, like, look at that. A lot of waiting around. Looks like research is done on the chopping table. Very good. Let's start doing the mead now. Like, do we need to hire another waitress? Maybe. Maybe, baby. You never know. You never know. It's looking pretty good, though. We need more tables is where it is. More tables and more waitresses. Max it out, baby. Upgrading tables is not a bad idea either. But then also secretly getting my VIP seat is, is something that I would like to do as well. But this was a very productive day. Very good. Profitable day. $1,500 today? Holy moly. Very, very good. Um, did we co complete any quests? Yeah, there we go. Serve that for a whole day. Very good. Prepare cheese 60 times. 250 liters of any drink. Okay, I guess maybe that will come later. Okay, so for um, research-wise, where are we sitting at? Or event-wise? We still have one more. We still have to do this. And then one more day, we can have a, another planned event. Very good. Um, do we have enough money to pull this off here? Like, uh, I, I want this to be like the first luxury small table that we have. Like a tiny $1,000 table. And then like a VIP chair. Now, because this is one of two, does that mean they still can't do anything about that, or can they? I need an extra five. Are we doing uh, salary? Okay, salary's good. These guys are good. Okay, so we're coming together on our VIP seating area a little bit. Now, I will say, I kind of want this to get a little pushed back here, up against the uh, front. St oh my God, front of the stage. So that these people have a little bit more privacy because they are the VIPs after all. There we go. It'd be kind of cool to like build these guys their own room. You know, maybe I do that. I don't know. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next day. All right. So let's see here. Any events? Let's see. Uh, organize any one event. We're going to be able to do that. Buy the chopping table. Okay. Buy the chopping table is something easily that we could do. Did we get our stuff here? Yep. We got that. Very good. The adventure has begun or has been successful. Got you 11 cheese. Very good. We've got strawberries. Awesome. Uh, next thing we want them to do is eventually go out and get mushrooms for us. But uh, we got to get money first. Okay. Very good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Oh, someone did actually. They were able to sit down. Are they very important? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're very important or not. Maybe they feel important. So, going into tomorrow, where do we stand here for the event? Well, honestly, we go for the work anniversary, maybe, depending on what our research is here. Because we got to spend our researches um, wisely. So, doing that event party will give us unlimited uh, chefs. Yeah, it will give us unlimited chefs. If we do a smaller event, of course, like if we were to do wine tasting or even, hell, just a regular party, um, that will probably give us our... That will give us our milk seed and 
uh, milk, cider, and mead. But I think I'm going to go for unlimited uh, chefs uh, at the end of the day here. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. $3,100 on, or 3100 on the on the prestige. Did that upgrade us? No, we're at 3500 on, on that. So, real quick, let's go ahead and talk to our adventures. Be like, hey, man, I need you to go out and get some mushrooms because eventually we're going to need these. There you go. Send you guys off for that. Uh, we will probably need more cheese and more um, strawberries down the road, too. 88%. I trust you. There we go. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Building more tables out here? Yeah, probably. Not, not a heavy table, but like a simple table. Right there. Right there. Right there. I'm not going to put one right here. That's just too close to them. Seats. Get the bench. Boom. Boom. Now, oh god, now we're really going to need more waitresses. <laughs> it is what it is. They're going to be slammed hard here before you know it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's 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 hire another waitress. Let's see what we have here. Uh, Lana, Judy, Annabelle, Maria. A mood decreases twenty percent slowly every day. Gets five dollar tips served for, for. You know what, Judy? You might be there. Five tips. Lana, we already have a Lana. Let's hire Judy. Here we go. Not too hard. Not too hard to think about there. Bert is a little bit unhappy. Let's go ahead and boost him up a little bit. Give him a good pick me up. Very good. Okay. So now we have another waitress on on the, on our brigade here. Very good. Look at that. Love this camera angle that we can do now. I should probably like work on this more often. Like who doesn't like this angle? This angle is pretty cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Yeah, so how's our research going for the milk and seed insider? Very good. How is uh, our percentage here? Still 1%, 1% across the board here. We are only serving uh, desserts today. Looks like we have a level up in our fruit bowl. Very good. Very, very good. Because I think that's part of our quest, right? By chopping, organize an event, prepared. Oh, I guess we're done with that event. Okay, so let's 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 bring that back here. Let's go all. We have bread, roasted chicken, and bowl of chicken on the menu. Now we will be serving roasted chicken and a bowl of chicken. Very, very cool. And um, we need to buy a chopping table. So let's go ahead and... Oh, no, no. Let's buy a chopping table back here. Kitchen. That will open up some more possibilities for us. Chopping table. Kind of, again, put this as close as we can to everything else so that it's not a far walk for these guys there we go get the quest done for that big bonus there organize any one event that will come uh, refill 250 liters of any drink seems um i don't know why we haven't done that yet I, that, that doesn't seem to be too far-fetched but we haven't been able to make progress on that look at the money coming dude look at the money coming now we're not going to be able to complete the milk cider by the end of the end of the end of the end of the baby <laughs> End of the day, though. Unlimited chefs, though, will be coming today. We will be doing that for sure. Now, it is 12 a.m., so everyone's just finishing up their drinks, giving us tips, all that. Our people will start cleaning up the areas and whatnot. Um, yeah, $600. We spent $860, let's be fair there. Very, very good. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and plan tomorrow's to be the work anniversary. So this requires water, beer, and ale for $6. $400 reward if we can complete this with 50 guests, which we should be able to do. We should have 50 available slots for people. Let's switch our research over to Unlimited Chefs now. There we go. And then let's go ahead and bump into the next day, which is the event party, which is the work anniversary party. So, again, another visual cue to see here is that once 50, yep, 50 people have came in, $400 reward. Once you see 50 people, now you can kind of get an eye. Like, there's a lot of empty seats still. So, we're, you know, 50 people are not our, um, they're not our max capacity, let's say. So, completed our strawberries. Very good. Let's go ahead and get uh, more mushrooms in. We want more mushrooms. 60. Okay, there, there, and there. 88% chance. Very good. Everything else is fine. Like, we don't need kiwis and coconuts and green beans quite yet. We're not looking that far ahead. So, that's good. Quest, get that completed. We will get the extra 350 there. Awesome. Prepare cheese 16 times. We don't need that quite yet. Buy any ingredients 100 times. We will probably need that. Now, for this event party, I, I, I definitely overlooked it for a sec. What do we need again? We need strawberries and we need strawberry cake. That's what it is. Strawberry cake. Very good. How many strawberries did we get in? 34 strawberries. Very good. Uh, we want this refilled, that refilled, this refilled. Just like refill it all. 
Now we should be always like bringing in stuff at all times when it comes to um, when it comes to this now, huh? Probably right that we shouldn't be using we shouldn't be leaving out things of this nature um, Let's see if we can pop in another strawberry case here. We definitely can for sure. So we'll get that going on Quest complete it. There you go buy a hundred ingredients. We're almost we're five points away from getting uh, our elite waitress Which is very good continue all we need to do is get this event party uh, situated, done, handled with, and we'll be very, very good. Uh, we're, we're close to 3,500 prestige, which I might be working on now um, to level up our adventurers. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply just add decorations. I'm going to add curtains that need to go onto the windows. So we'll do that. Will we get 3,500 doing this? Almost. Very, very close. Uh, I would like to put some paintings down as well. That will help us out. Some of these paintings are very good. Like, look at that painting of the woman. She looks very good. Let's put that down. <laughs> she looks good, dude. And maybe that goes behind the bar. That gives us 3,500 prestige, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm going to let the game kind of game out here. Oh, actually, I guess I can't. I'm going to change the colors of these to black now. There we go. Just give me a moment. Oh, sorry. There we go. Very good. Very, very good. Okie dokie. Alrighty. So we officially hit 3,500. So as you can see, we're now level four. Uh, the next level up will be 5,500. So again, now our adventure power will be between ranges of 19 and 25. So no longer will we get the 16 uh, people coming in, the 17 people, the 15 people. We will now get the bare minimum at 19, which will help us uh, in getting more and more stuff, more and more stuff uh, even faster, right? So higher prestige. More adventure, well, not more adventures, but more power for our adventures, which uh, makes us be able to get certain things very fast, right? I don't need to explain that to you. One thing I do want to fix here, though, is our VIP chair. Have them have not be lonely. <laughs> there we go. There you go. You are not so lonely. You can have two people there at the VIP center. And I think I'm going to put like a, maybe a giant painting or something. I'll put some decorations for them as well. But this is good. This is a good work anniversary party. Part party party let's go ahead and refill our drinks oh yeah i forgot we can now change our prices now we can increase and decrease so we can increase and drink price cannot okay so real quick we can't do it right now but to the, the reason why you want to do this and whatnot is to get more money right so when we increase our sell price of all these drinks they all increase by one so we sell water for six dollars we refill it for, it's free to refill but we sell it for six if we increase the price the guests per day will go down. And so the, the idea here is to really know how many guests you can fit in your restaurant and then have your average kind of match your capacity. Because if you have, let's say, a capacity restaurant of 100 people and your average is 200, well, you're not going to get 200 people in, in there at, at during the day. So instead, you want to increase the prices and then the average people per day will go down and then you'll be making more money overall. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so there we go. We got some quests done. Refill 250 liters of drinks. Very good. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. That was a party. How's our menu doing? Was it an event? Ah, strawberry cake. Strawberry cake. Strawberry cake. Leveled up. Very good. Uh, how's our employees going? Everyone happy? Yeah, for the most part, everyone's happy. We now have unlimited uh, chefs, so... If we want to have unlimited chefs, we can absolutely do that. Now, the next thing we need is milk and cider and mead. Cool. Um... $1,200, how much do we pay or how much do we have our employees set for tomorrow? 386 plus 100 for our band, so that's 486 So we're looking at 486 We're going to add a little bit more decoration. Oh, I didn't even put a curtain here. Uh, we're going to add a little bit more decorations. First off being, uh, yeah, a curtain here. <laughs> they probably deserve that. Now, I, I did say I want to put like a nice painting of some sort right here in front of for the VIPs. It does look weird now. I would like like a vertical painting, maybe of like, I guess a mill. A windmill is that or not a windmill but a mill right like a flour mill type building i'm thinking of anyways um uh, put that away let's go do this change this to black and that would be that and then let's head on over to the next day oh thieves so this is something that's new uh to not new to the game but this is something new to us in this series is that there are thieves in this game so we're gonna need to hire don't take my you asshole we need to hire guards so that this doesn't happen. So it looks like a thief just stole one of your barrels. Make sure to hire a guard so that this doesn't happen again. So yeah, we're going to need to hire uh, guards. F. 
Organize any event, prepare to cheese extent, reach three stars in any food, things of that nature. How much is a guard going to be? A guard, one guard. Oh, looks like we can change their outfit or these are some of their outfits. I don't know what the heck this, the inventory is here. Uh, we have Johnny, we have Gale, and we have Frederick, and we have Forrest. Now, I like the hoods, so it's between Johnny and Frederick. Who do I like more as far as name-wise or visual-wise? I think I like Frederick. Let's get Frederick. Okay, Frederick is on board with us now. That increases our salaries. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of money to replace our... What does it happen? Like our beer? What the heck just did we lose? I think we lost our beer. And I can't replace it right now because I just don't have any money to replace it. So I got to wait for us to get our money in so that I can replace that. was not expecting that. I, I did totally forget about the thieves in this game. I totally forgot about that. But hey, it's all right. We'll just get the money here. Come in very soon. How much does it cost? A beer barrel, $200. There you go. Refill it for $207. Refill everything else. There we go. Fix. Don't need to worry about it again. Bert has a level up. We'll give Bert his level up there. Uh, we want his drinking pouring skills to go up. Very good. Oh, looks like we might have another one there, too. Oh, nope. We're good. Very good. Good to see. Good to see everybody. Now, our quest over here, we have mushrooms done and more cheese also done. So, that's going to help us again. I'm going to get another person onto cheese. Now, you can see our averaging over here in the 20s, which is very good. So, let's go 20 and 21. Get that 100% chance there. Uh, let's get the strawberries for... Uh, 24 and 24. And then the mushrooms will go for 20, 40, 60. And there we go. Awesome. So yeah, getting your prestige up, getting that level up on your adventures is a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal, as you can see right there. Wow. Pretty cool, though. Okay. Um, how's our waitresses and all that? Well, I think they're doing fine. They might be getting slammed here. We might need to get another waitress. But I'm kind of waiting off because... Uh, we, we are very, 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 very close to getting an elite waitress here. So, yeah, I'm not going to hire one quite yet. But I do want to add more tables, of course. Looks like our VIPs over here are doing some swell business. Um, where do we stand as far as uh, percentage-wise? Yeah, we actually went up in our average star rating. So now we are 2%, uh, have a chance for 2% of rare and 1% still uh, for gold. So where do we stand here with this? So we are still 17 away from getting our milk and seed and uh, and all and the cider and all this milk cider and mead, not milk and seed, milk cider and mead. And then where do we go from there? Um, well, it's a very interesting way. I think after we go there, we go props for soups because it's gonna take a while for us to get the new floor, and we don't need a new bar quite yet. I would like to get a bar and have the second bar on the second floor. So I think we go props for soup, then we go new floor, maybe, and then we go bar. Yeah, then we go bar. Because I don't want two bars on the same floor. I, I, I really don't. Menu item. Apple pie has been leveled up, so we'll be selling that even more. Awesome. More money there. Uh, drink prices. So, like I said, um, drink prices. How many people did we serve today? Let's let's see here. We're going to get the final result here in a sec. Once these people start cleaning up. We'll get the final result to see how many people we served. On average, we could have 277 guests per day. So if, for instance, we only served 100, I want to lower that number. And by lowering that number, very simple, increasing the prices of all of our uh, all of our product. Yeah. Turnover. Is it today the 31st? New Year's Eve? Okay, well, total seats, 86. So, okay, there you go. Our total seats is 86. So... Even though we could have 277 guests per day, we can only average about 86 seats, right? So let's go ahead and change our prices on our uh, on our drinks here. So let's increase this by a lot. 151. So 86 was our seats per day. We want we don't want to you know be too close to that. But let's at least do 151. So we'll increase the prices drastically across the board here. Very good to see. So this was our this is where we were starting out with right um everything goes up by one dollar so that's three extra dollars on every purchase pretty cool pretty cool indeed i think we're good on the refills here what about our food refills probably need our food refilled i actually doing pretty good uh, but I'll, I'll i'll refill them just hit that button i keep forgetting okay uh, yeah, more tables. Let's start uh, focusing in on that a little bit. More tables, more people. Just like slam it all in. <laughs> so much. We'll go. Boom. You know what? Maybe this is what we do. 
For over here, off in this direction, we do something different. We go long tables. Yeah! Look at those bad boys. We go long tables across. Go to seats. Oh wow, those cost a lot of money. I did not realize that cost that much money. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, I don't know if we'll be, I think we're starting off the day in the negatives going into the next day, but hey, we have the long tables out and ready. Um, and we'll see what happens here. Let's go, next day. Ventures did complete. So we got mushrooms, we got more uh, strawberries. And we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. We do have another event schedule, or we can schedule an event to, for tomorrow, which all depends on our research. If we could finish the 13 rare people today, uh, that would be fantastic. Will it happen though? Well, it's 2% chance for just a single person, so I don't know if it will happen, but I would like it to happen. If it does happen, then we can kind of plan ahead. So let's see here. This executioner meetup gives us, or we need uh, 40 mushrooms and then that recipe, which I think we already have, I think, I'm pretty sure. Battle victory celebration is what we're going to need. We're going to need peas, and we already have that. So peas is something that we're going to need. Peas. So we need to send our adventurers off to get peas now. So we need quite a bit of peas. Uh, let's go mind your peas and Q's. 20 there and there. 80% there. We'll go mushrooms again. And that's all we'll do today. Okay, time out. How's our people? Ada needs a level up. Let's give her a level up. We will give her a max out on her carrying speed. Very good. And then um, chefs. Like Again, we can add more chefs, but I don't think it's very necessary to do that. Level up on our cherry cake. Good to see. Why Get these things on the menu. I don't know why those unclicked there. Okay, we're good. Continue. Think about adding tables to this. Yes. Think about adding tables to this. Now, did we need... Is there like a single long bench or do we just need to add a bunch of benches? I think we just need to add a bunch of bench benches to this. So we'll go here here and we're gonna obviously need to add light as well we'll go here oh crap i didn't space this out correctly that's all right okay let's let's space this out real quick one down and then do this this okay and then lights camera action baby candle Very good. Okay. That's at least 16 more people that we can add to the restaurant, which is insane, dude. 16 more people. 16 candles. <laughs> and that just increases our guests per day. That increases, like, gives us the chance to also increase our prices as well. So all, all, all together, very good. Very, very good. Cool. I'm happy. I'm happy with how things are... All right, are going through here very well. Just take a break, kind of enjoy what you have in front of you here, right? Enjoy it, because this is very good. Very, very good. Look at our waitresses, though. They're, they're, they're doing some crazy stuff. Now, I would like to get that elite waitress very soon now. Level up in our roasted fish. Did not see that coming. How are we standing here? We're two away. Organize any one event, prepare 16 cheeses, reach three star with any food. Now, if we can reach three stars with any food, that would be ideally. And none of them seem to be very close, except for the fruit bowl, the fruit bowl and the bread. Those are the only ones. But there we go. That's the end of the day. $2,300 coming our way. We did not get this done, unfortunately. And I'm going to have to go another regular day with trying to get this done. Because I do not want to schedule a party for eight people. Like, honestly, like it's not worth it, right? It's not worth the opportunity, right? So there we go. Very good. Very, very good. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tavern Master. If you guys want to see more, please be sure to hit that like. And I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics.